Alright, this is Chris with White Rhino Fabrication. I'm going to kind of show you how I use the MDF and the Full Max to get my beads, um, like on my other panels. Um, you can see on this panel here, there's a square cut. Um, and that's because right here I put this square plate on the top of the die. And the reason I did that is sometimes when you're pushing metal down into, um, into a form, it'll pick up the outer edges. And my thought was I use this plate to push that back down. And that actually ends up giving me a, a really nice effect. Um, again, like you said, like I said, the, the, the top is square. Now the bottom looks like this. I just use a jigsaw to make this. And used to, I used to stress about being exactly right, but luckily um, the metal flows well enough that it doesn't take out or you know, it doesn't get all the little imperfections, so it, it ends up looking really nice. Now, the, what I'll do is I will uh, do a few of them. You don't have to watch me do all of them, and then I'll take it off and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, again, here's my table that I did. As you see, I don't have the top on it. I've got, if you can look under here, I've got th this uh, heavy plate for my lower die just to hold the, the wood. And I, I crank it up each time to set, set my depth. So um, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll do one or two and then kind of show you how I have to do it. And like I said, I'll, I'll finish doing all of them. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Just tall enough that I have to lower the lower die to get it back out. I do want to mention that I'm creating the square and doing the square on top of the die and it actually creates twice the work when you're making your your wood buff because the way I do it is I'll go ahead and cut the oval shape in both pieces at the same time and then I'll come back and square cut the top piece just so I know that they're aligned correctly. Again, it makes double work but I like the effect that it has. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to. Some of the more experienced guys may not even do that, and may not even do that with a, a plate. Um, but when you see when I'm done with it, it creates a really nice effect, nice flow um, effect at, on the bead, and then a crisp edge at the bottom. So. I'll go ahead and finish these out and then I'll let you see what it looks like. 